In today's video, I get to do an unboxing of something I've been wanting to get my uh, hands on for a little bit. Realize that, oh shit, uh, what am I going to do with it? Followed by, oh, that's right. <sighs> it's been nuts. Here's my new jigsaw. Now, before I get on with the jigsaw, I needed a few other things. That is a fence, which basically allows you to cut semi straight, if you could call that, with <laughs> bloody jigsaw. But it also allows you to do circular cuts, which is what that pin's for. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that. This was a frigging nightmare to get my hands on because the store where I was getting it from were like, um, dust extractor. Yeah, this one you like literally shove something in the arse end and then poof. And I also got myself some of these. These came from my uh, old employer, which were basically thrown out. These were bought brand new. So, the only one I could find at the hardware store that was, well, all nice and well, if you could call it nice. Um, yeah, plastic. So yeah, that's the delivery stuff. Okay, let's open it. Now, like I said before in my last video, if uh, that's up before this one, I like how these boxes are, are made up because you can easily put everything back, which, no, it's right side up. Ooh. That's a decent. Oh, okay, so um, contact information for, I think this is pronounced Makita. Now, I'd gone over this online, and here it says dust extractor. You're supposed to hook it up to a Makita vacuum cleaner. Screw that shit. But getting the Dust cover didn't seem to be possible. They didn't even seem to know what that was. And then there's a hose. But, eh. That's all I could get for it. General use, safety tips. I thought about getting this plate, but then I realized, nah, because I'm probably going to mount this thing upside down and use it for something else. Okay. And out of the box, it comes with a hmm, rather crummy blade. So let's see how this is. Hmm. Now, my most curious thing. Okay, so there isn't a dust cover for it. It's just a port that plugs in the arse end. Let's open that, shall we? Dust cover. Nope. So this was easily audible, uh, was easily able to be ordered, but uh, the initial sort of, well, getting it was a pain in the ass. Yeah, see, that's what I was looking for, just something to jam in there, and then I just have to convert that to a normal vacuum cleaner. Technically, I could have gotten a pipe that would, like, expand, but whatever. Okay, so as I understand, those are three speed levels. And you get something there, you got a cover here. Should stop with the splatter. All right, so I imagine that's what this hex key is for as well as adjusting down here. I'm not gonna try to readjust this position because I wanna have a dead center for, well, for a long time. So to start off with, I'll be placing the Makita one in, which these two should also Match up with, yes, and yes. Now, does the manual show me how to install it? 
So which one did I get? The 4329 jigsaw. Oh, anyway. Uh, assembly, caution. Always clean out chips, foreign matter. Do not touch blade. Do not have plugged in. So by rights, should just be able to go zoop. Alright, let's try to get this reciprocating blade working. But first I'm going to say crap because the sun's going on me again. This video footage is probably going to get grainy. Ugh, I hate that. So let's plug in Mr. Death Machine. And fire it up. Some smell coming out of that. Okay, I've had my fun. You're going off. I have to admit, I have never put a blade in one of these machines, so first time for everything. Duh. This wasn't the cheapest uh, jigsaw I could have picked up, but I chose it mainly for the uh, screw holes. So my plan is to stick this underneath a bench that I build, and these screw holes are gonna make it a lot easier to mount it upside down because they are, I don't have to cut into the, this plate here, which I really don't like the idea of doing. <laughs> but uh, having the money set aside to be able to get this whole thing built up was a nightmare okay but I'm happy with it smells a bit odd but meh new toy so with that done, I'll put this back in here for later. And I will open this up. Now this is something I was really excited about getting. And never lose that Allen key. So my intention is to try to DIY some speakers. Now I do have stereo speakers, which I'm going to be using, but I want to be able to cut out holes for the large speaker and I'm hoping something like this will, well, help. Okay, so as I can gather, this will either go in this way or this way and that gives you that fence and I am somewhat disappointed there aren't holes along here on this side so you can put in a bit of timber but oh, well. oh and in case you're wondering oh That's not good. Um, I might have to contact the store and tell them the screw that came with this is too big. Oh, well. I don't have to use it right now, so. As for this, does it show where it's supposed to go?
Yep. Um, so circling cutting jig. So on this side, this is supposed to go through here. And it's supposed to be the center of mass. And it goes on top. And that allows you to do Yeah. So I'm assuming on the other side, it would go in here. Yeah, that's about right. All right. So one problem I have, the screw does not fit. This, however, does. The screw doesn't. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, where was this made in? Oh no, uh, Belgium. Made in Japan. So what I should be able to do is simply stick this back in here like so I should be able to stick this in here like so will this fit not very well be able to fit in there. That should be able to fit in there as well. Manual should comfortably fit in here. And what about this dust extractor? Probably not. Hey, it all fits in. So, apart from the, uh, oops. Okay, so apart from having the wrong size screw for, well, the rip fence and the circular cutting jig, um, yeah, this is a, this is a bit of a, yeah, you know, wasn't the cheapest thing to buy, but hopefully it'll do what I want. This has been an unboxing and first impression of my new Makita jigsaw. Thanks for watching. Wait, no. You better, you better.